Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you could join me today. I'm reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still <coughs> and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying of him, unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. A um, couple things. One, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was very near to the time he was going to go to the cross and die on the cross for our sin. He had a lot on his mind, quite frankly. He was going from Jericho, and the, 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 the walk from there up to Jerusalem was an uphill grade. So it's a lot of work going uphill on that hike up to Jerusalem. And when he's going through there, there's this blind man named Bartimaeus sitting there by the side of the road, and he's begging for help. But when this blind, it's crazy, when a blind man hears that Jesus is coming by, he starts crying out for Jesus, and he calls him, Thou Son of David, referring to him as the Messiah. And he says, Have mercy on me. The people were all telling him to be quiet, and I thought, it's crazy that the blind man actually got it. He understood who it was that was going by, and that this was the only one that could help him because he was begging for coins from everyone else. But from Jesus, he cried out for him to have mercy on him. So uh, interesting that it took a blind man to actually recognize who Jesus is. <laughs> that That's uh, rather interesting. And then he's crying out for Jesus, and Jesus, it says, stood still. Even though everybody else is saying, ah, oh, Jesus, you don't have time for him, telling the guy to, hey, be quiet, you know, you, you, you're a blind guy, it's, you're not worthy to talk to Jesus. Jesus stopped, and he asked for the man to be brought to him. I want you to know something. Whatever your situation, Jesus is not too busy for you. No matter what he's involved in doing in this world, and there's a lot going on, when you cry out to him, no matter who you are, or how little you think you are, or what other people have said about you, Jesus cares about you. He knows you. He'll stop doing what he's doing, listen to you, and meet you at your point of need. That is awesome. Jesus is the creator of all that exists, and yet he knows you, and he'll stop and listen and do what he knows is best for you. That is absolutely an amazing thing about Jesus Christ. Right before he went to the cross, he cared more about this beggar than just listening to what everybody else was telling him. Sometimes leaders have other people who aren't the leader telling him he shouldn't do certain things or he should do certain things or he should listen to people or he shouldn't listen to people. I got to say, you need to listen to what God's telling you to do. You can trust God when you really can't trust the crowds. A lot of times the crowds have got it wrong. It's the few that are listening to God that actually know what is the very wisest and the very best thing for us to do. I would hope that our leaders would learn that lesson. Be careful who you're listening to. Seek God and His wisdom and His direction. He has time for them, our leaders. He has that time for you as well, so you can trust Him. I encourage you, if you don't have a church home, to come and visit us here at Living Hope Baptist Church. We meet here every Sunday at 1040 a.m. If you come, please say, Hi, Pastor Rick. I've been watching you on the, on the Internet, and I thought I'd come by and say hello. I would love to meet you. God bless you.